The Indian Army has shot down a Chinese drone operated by Pakistan Army using the DRDO-developed D-4 laser weapon, while it was trying to carry out surveillance along the line of control in the Jammu region. Indian Air Force's C-17 transport aircraft carrying relief materials to earthquake hit Myanmar had faced GPS spoofing, which is a form of cyber attack which includes generating false GPS signals, that creates a significant risk to aircraft. Ahead of Russian president's visit to New Delhi, Russian officials have said that the Russian Su-57 is the best option for India's MRFA program, as the Indian requirement has changed since the last tender in 2012. The DRDO has successfully demonstrated its Sahastra Shakti 30 kW laser-based weapon system, that is designed to take down helicopters, fixed-wing drones, swarm drones and even missiles within a range of 5 km. After inducting FPV drones equipped with anti-tank payload, Indian Army has inducted indigenous wire-guided jam-proof FPV drones that have a range of 10 km. The RDO's Armament Research and Development Establishment has showcased the first prototype of a 6.8 by 43 mm rifle. The Indian Air Force is all set to welcome its 12th C-295 transport aircraft as it makes its journey from Airbus's facility in Spain to India. The Indian Navy in collaboration with the DRDO and private sector companies, is planning to develop advanced underwater sensors to detect submarine movements in areas conducive to such operations. Russian S-400 system has shot down a Ukrainian F-16 fighter jet, that marks the second confirmed loss of an F-16 for Ukraine. The Indian Army is procuring mock-ups for its T-90 main battle tanks, marking a proactive response to evolving threats like drones. Adani Defense has begun production of 155mm artillery shells with an initial capacity of 1.5 lakh rounds per year, and the company has even secured export bookings for these shells for the next five years. Indian Navy's P-8A aircraft conducted joint exercises with U.S. Navy's P-8A aircraft as part of Exercise Tiger Triumph 2025. Russian officials have made a strong claim, which has created a stir in India's fighter jet market saying that the Su-57 with full technology transfer is the best option for India's MRFA program, as the operational requirement of the Indian Air Force has changed drastically since the last tender in 2012. They also said, that if India had to buy additional Rafale fighters under MRFA, then why would India wait a decade after ordering the 36 Rafale fighters? They also added, that if India wanted more Rafale fighters, then there would have been no need for trial testing and other procedures under MRFA, which clearly means that India is looking for alternatives. France's ambition to develop a homegrown alternative to the American high-mobility artillery rocket system, has cast a shadow over India's hopes of exporting its Pinaka multi-barrel rocket launcher system to French army. Reports indicate that France's Directorate General for Armament is now prioritizing a domestically developed rocket artillery system, with plans to conduct a demonstration firing by mid-2026, effectively sidelining earlier interest in India's battle-proven Pinnacle system. The Indian Air Force is planning to phase out the outdated mica infrared and radio frequency variant air-to-air -air missiles currently equipping its fleet of 36 Rafale fighter jets, and aims to integrate the 110 km Astra Mark 1 and 160 Astra Mark 2 air-to-air -air missiles, which are superior to the 80 km mica in terms of range performance and cost effectiveness. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, drop it.